We are set to go here in Ruston. And coming out for Western Kentucky. Not out to the 20-yard line. To Corey and Darden, and he'll start at the 18. Dre Furby, the fifth-year senior, is the running back. Next to Stephen Duncan. They bring three. Ferguson off the edge. Can't get there. Hangs in the pocket. And Jernigan makes the grab. It's enough for a 12-yard pickup and a first down. Third and eight. Duncan back to the air. Finds Lucky Jackson. And enough for another first down. Still fighting his way out to the 43. He picked up 13. So back it up to second and 12. Duncan fakes it, takes off. Steven Duncan out to the 45, and this is a flag. Two of them thrown. Ross, we might get targeting here early, and Duncan's still down. New quarterback, redshirt freshman who has started four times this year, and he hands off right away. And a big hole. Joshua Samuel, the redshirt freshman, picks up 11. Davon Washington on the tackle. Comes back in on second and eight. Fake to Furby, the end around. Lucky Jackson's got space, and Jackson's got a touchdown. Opening drive score for the Hilltoppers. It's an 18-yard run for Jackson. Not as consistent with the accuracy as they want. Got a deep arm, too. Fires over the middle, and that's picked off. First play for Louisiana Tech, Devin Key. His third interception of the year, and it's back-to-back -back weeks for Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky coming to this game two and nine. All kinds of great plays. Here's another fun one. The toss inside, but that's not going anywhere. Louisiana Tech sniffed that out immediately. Beanie Bishop. Very easily before down territory. They can run it here if they want. Duncan takes off up the middle. Picks up four, Washington again. Fifth-year senior making the stop. On fourth and eight, they need the 23. Pressure from Ferguson, Duncan avoids, finds Jackson. Got the first down. Lucky Jackson into the red zone. Two-score lead against a team that hasn't scored a whole lot of points this year in Louisiana Tech. Duncan fakes the pitch, takes off the middle. He's drilled right at the sticks. It's Baldwin, another hit on the quarterback. Backups are both out today. And Western Kentucky's going forward on fourth down again. This is one. DeAndre Furby spins out of the tackle and has the first down. You can't pick it back up right before the snap. Ross Tucker, seven years in the NFL as an offensive lineman. Duncan on the rollout to the end zone. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. Mike Quan Dean, the tight end, and a surprising opening quarter. Western Kentucky up two touchdowns. So after back-to-back -back runs, it's third and three for Jamar Smith. To the ground again, and Ben Holt hits him from behind. The leading tackler with 107 coming into the game. No chance for Israel Tucker. I'd luck not to have him out there. Their backup Baker's a good one, but he can't get to the quarterback early. Duncan takes off. He's got a lot of space. Duncan goes out of bounds at the 35, about three yards shy of the first down. He does well when I'm here. <laughs> And the interception when you're not last week. Smith, again, pressure comes this time. He's got nowhere to go. Has to eat the football. A sack for Western Kentucky. Been playing football here since 1901. Duncan up the middle, and that's a sack. Ferguson, the second to clean it up. And you wonder if he'll get partial credit. Colin Scott, the first one there. <laughs> Third and 14 for Western Kentucky, and Duncan off the edge, steps up in the pocket, fires. Fortenberry trying to one-arm it and couldn't bring it in. Unanimously, the students voted. It's got to be a Bulldog. Off the edge, the blitz, and D'Angelo Malone has the sack for the safety. Wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Quarterback's back at 10 yards. Nothing. O'Shea, O'Shea Dugas is protecting seven yards behind them. So off the free kick, Drell Green racing for Western Kentucky, and they're going to have outstanding field position again. And they haven't had problems moving the ball. It's a reverse. Now the pitch back to Duncan. Takes a shot. Dean wide open. Pushed out of bounds at the one. Trick play for 43 yards to the tight end. Either way, they're going to go for it. That's Duncan who leaves. Wildcat for Furby. Touchdown, Western Kentucky.
the 230 pound fifth year senior his team leading fifth rushing touchdown so backed up again jamar smith fires one that's caught best throw of the day and hardy out to the 22 yard line of the receiver another one this time to alfred smith pick up 11. Another quick throw, Smith again, that's a first down. Wrapped up by Gage Walker. Now he's getting rid of the ball. RPO and Powell slips up. But he did pick up the first down. Up the underneath stuff or even a run. Bring the blitz. Smith too high. He was looking for Smoke Harris, but again, he's only five foot six. So instead they'll try and pin Western Kentucky inside the 10. Dyer, perfectly done. Outstanding coverage, Legereus Sneed put his heels on the one, batted it back into play. They have dominated the entire first half. Duncan bobbled the ball, has to improvise, and he's not gonna get there. Jordan Bradford, he has not had two of his best receivers. Teddy Veal, fifth year senior, grad transfer from Tulane, he's been outstanding on this team. Alfred Smith makes the grab. Smith back to the air. This time he finds Hardy. Farthest down the field. Hamstring injuries are really easy to aggravate. And he's their possession receiver too. Pressure, Smith takes off and not getting away. Jawan Jones, the redshirt freshman with the sack. Play clock down to two. Smith calling for the ball and they got it off. Fires and he missed. Well short of Woodard. He'll miss last week on a 29-yarder. This from 41, and he hooks it left. No good. A lot of motion, but it's just a handoff, and Furby squeaks through, and he's got a first down. That looked like it was going to be a loss of one. Instead, it's a first down. So Baldwin and Ferguson on the sideline for Louisiana Tech after the first down. Duncan is hit from behind. Emmanuel Turner. Turner to be able to chase him down for a loss. 2.20 to go in the half, up 23-0. Pressure again. Duncan throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. A terrible decision by Duncan, and it's picked off by Robertson. We're looking to make sure that Robertson got his foot in bounds. They have confirmed that. So it's Louisiana Tech ball, and Jamar Smith has to throw it away. Cray was chasing him from behind, and they throw the flag right where Smith went down. Back to Tucker with a head of steam. Israel Tucker breaks through for a touchdown. Finally, on the board, the interception leads to Tech points. Western Kentucky could have taken more time off the clock. They didn't. Duncan slides and drilled. And there's a late flag. Daryl Lewis. Ferguson not on the field for this second down and 15. Duncan is wrapped up. The ball's loose. Robertson hit him. The ball came out, and Duncan falls on top of it. Check that. That's Furby, the running back, on third and 24. It is a run. It's a loss of yards. LaFrance brought down, and now that timeout taken again. They do. They got to it. It's a block. This should be a safety. T3 seconds and a timeout for the Bulldogs. Trailed by 23, now down just 14. Smith, a shot over the middle. Alfred Smith breaks out of a tackle. And Alfred Smith inside the 35. Down to the 33, a pick of a 31. 14 seconds to go. Hilltoppers showing pressure. They bring the blitz off the edge. Smith hangs in the pocket. To the sideline, it's caught by Hardy, who's out of bounds at the 16. They pick up 16 more and still seven seconds on the clock with that one timeout. 12 unanswered points. And it's good.
good. Louisiana Tech spotted Western Kentucky a 23-point lead. Dean Yards was sacked three times. They go back to Tucker. Evan Sainer gets him for a loss of a yard. Got inside the 25 times, but only had two touchdowns out of that. Pressure, bubble screen, Hardy avoids a couple of tacklers, and Adrian Hardy chased from behind. He gets out to the 35 and a first down before Jawan Jones made the stop. Smith back to the air on first down. Finds Scott, who found a pocket, and carrying Cray out to the 49 and still going. Jamar back to the air. Blitz comes, he's drilled as he throws, and he's got his receiver. Hardy inside the 10. Wrestled down by Green at the 5. Ben Holt drilled Jamar Smith, who stayed in the pocket and hit a big throw. He's got his team with an opportunity to get within a score. Hands off again, and Tucker didn't have any space. Darden off the edge made the tackle, so here's third and goal from the three. Smith to the middle, it's batted up in the air. Got to make it a one-score game to go all the way down here. Hale connected right before the end of the half, and he knocks it through from 20 yards as well. And the coaches told us they think he has a chance to get drafted late. Five tackles, half sack for Turner. Duncan to LaFrance out of the backfield, and Robertson makes the tackle. It's a one-score game with 10.45 to go in the third. Ferguson, double team, pressure comes, throws it over the head of Mike Wandeen. Ferguson got the pressure. This is his final game for Western Kentucky. Jamar Smith takes off across midfield, and it's enough for a first down down to the 47. Saner made the tackle. Oh, hurry up here. Usually they got a play they want. A lot of times it's just quick inside zone. And that's exactly what they do. Jaquise Dancy has three and has the first down. It's the hole. It's a big one for Cam McKnight inside the 10. Key dragged him down, but McKnight with a 29-yard run. Hardy's at the top of your screen. He's dead. Smith keeps it, driving towards the end zone, and he stops short. Smith put his shoulder down into the defender, and he's just shy of the goal line. Devin Key. All kinds of problems, and they're not going to get it. Smith didn't look like if he knew he wanted to keep it or hand it off. And Cam McKnight was short, and now a flag flies. Back to Furby. And he's got a first down. Man, that is real frustrating if you're a defensive coordinator. His third straight game is the starter. Back to the air. It's a lob. Jernigan with a head of steam right at the sticks. X up against the wall. Back to the air. 29th pass of the afternoon, and Hardy snags it. And Adrian Hardy to midfield on his seventh catch of the day. How to attack the football. Other direction. C.J. Powell gets the corner, and C.J. Powell quickly gets 13 yards. On third down, pocket holds, it's a low throw. Crowd wants a flag on Kincaid, none comes. Last year at Eastern New Mexico, he hit from 48. This is from 50, and it's no good. He has picked up personal fouls on that, though. On third and two, the handoff inside, and Samuel almost broke that. But he did pick up enough for the first down. It's given up yards, but they have really held and kept this offense going. Samuel has the big hole. Joshua Samuel down to the 37. And that is just one of my favorite plays in football. Furby on the handoff. He's got the first down. Lewis made the stop, but not before he got to the 26. And with the 36-yard trick play pass that they've hit today, he only has 92 yards. And that's a tackle for a loss in the backfield. Two-score game. Off the edge. Duncan in trouble. Keeps the play alive. And wrestled down for a sack. Colin Scott, who's back in the ballgame, banged up right.
right hand at all gets the sack. This is fourth and 13. Duncan, pressure to the end zone. Open receiver, and he missed him. Then they spotted Western Kentucky a 23-point lead early in the second quarter and have been trying to battle back since. That's a great throw. Alfred Smith with the grab. And to Corey and Darden on the coverage, maybe the best throw from Jamar Smith. Coming back from that to play. How much he could play last year, which he did this year, no limit. He picked up the block on third down, but the throw was way too high for Woodard. Second year taking over for Jeff Brom. They beat UTEP last week by 24, and it's been a very impressive performance as Samuel close to the first down, out to the 12. Duncan follows his blockers, and Duncan has the first down. And they move the football enough to get points and get a two-score lead. It's back to the ground for Samuel, and he's eaten up in the backfield. Jordan Bradford first to make the tackle. So third and short again. Inside of eight minutes to go in the fourth. The give to Furby over the pile, and it's a first down. He's going to take off right into the arms of Jalen Ferguson. It's going to go down as a sack for Ferguson. Blue Raiders lose. It'll be FIU at UAB next week right here on CBS Sports Network. Smith doesn't see the blitz coming, and he's sacked. Drell Green all the way back to the 35. Blitz comes. Smith hangs in the pocket, fires short, and it's incomplete. What he was thinking that they would just do three straight runs and take it below two minutes. The handoff to Furby breaks through the defense. DeAndre Furby from 36 yards out. And Western Kentucky back up by two scores. High kickoff for Ranella. Smoke Harris coming out with a burst of speed. Smoke takes it out to the 39-yard line. Get in Vicksburg. Vicksburg's in the Pittsburgh. Second and 22. Smith is hit from behind and loses the football. D'Angelo Malone, who drew the penalty, now has the sack. Going to the pros. These Western Kentucky guys could be the next men up. Weston Elliott, he's the one that has to come in. Alfred Smith makes a move. Still on his feet. Alfred Smith out to the 33. He picked up 28 of the 29 needed. There have been some frustrations here this year with Jamar Smith. Some of the inconsistencies to the air. Wide open receiver. Israel Tucker out of the backfield and across midfield. He hits Alfred Smith again. First down. The kids have transferred. Getting his first action. He's drilled as he throws. It's complete to Woodard. And that's going to be targeting. He was hit right in the chin. Need a pair of touchdowns. No timeouts. Hit. It's short. And maybe one yard. On fourth and nine. This could be the ball game. Elliott to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Final play of the defense, they're Deontay Ruffin. Yeah, they're going to say it's incomplete. Western Kentucky finishes the year with back-to-back -back wins, and Louisiana Tech's got a bowl game coming up, but they lose at home here on Senior Day. Final score, 30-15. to